Hi guys, welcome to this week Ask a Ranger. So we are going to be answering the second question that we got asked on our YouTube page. And so that's going to be, what were the impacts DeSoto had on the natives that lived here? Perfect. Yeah, so this is a very loaded question and it's also probably one of the hardest ones to answer just because it is a really hard topic to cover. Um, and when we do this, we want to make sure we give it justice. Uh, so um, there are kind of two uh, main impacts that DeSoto left. Um, so I'll be covering the first one. Um, and it's probably one that you guys have heard about a lot. Um, and that's disease. But it might not actually be in the way that you think about how um, disease would have impacted the natives living here. Uh, so on the DeSoto expedition, um, they had to bring with them food because they were trying to start a colony. Um, and one of the easiest food sources they thought to bring were hogs because hogs can multiply very fast um, within six months of being born, they can already be ready to have an, um, have children. So they can multiply large numbers, um, and they also will eat anything. Um, so you take a hog anywhere and it's going to eat. However, they brought hundreds and hundreds of these hogs over, um, and I don't know what it would be like to try and wrangle that many hogs, um, but I'm assuming it would be very, very hard. Um, and unfortunately, all uh, some of those hogs escaped. Um, and we even see that impact still to this day of those hogs escaping. Those hogs have multiplied um, and they have absolutely thrived in all but 13 states in the United States today and they cause devastation to farms um, and they are pests to many many farmers um, so that in itself is a really large impact um, however natives quickly found out that like most others bacon tastes really good um, and that they're pretty good at catching killing and eating hogs um, but what they didn't take into account is Europeans have lived really close to hogs for many hundreds, thousands of years at this point. Um, they've gotten certain immunities to the diseases that pigs carry, um, and they're used to living in very close quarters with those hogs. However, the natives here, because these hogs aren't new for them, um, they don't have that kind of immunity built up. And hogs are very similar um, to our physiology as humans, and they can transfer diseases very easily um, between hogs to humans. And unfortunately, that is what's gonna lead to a lot of the disease that's spread here. One village is going to pick up this disease from these hogs, um, and what's most natural if everybody in your village is starting to get this disease, it's going to be natural to want to run to the next village to try and get away from that. Um, and unfortunately, as we kind of know, it's very easy to spread disease like that. And that's going to be something that leads to a large decline of the population of the natives that were here. And unfortunately, that leads to a large decline of the culture um, and the rich history and the information that we have about these native groups. And that kind of leads to why we don't know too much information about these natives today because their populations were decimated and they didn't have really any written histories. Um, but we do have a second impact. So I'm gonna hand it over to you. It kind of flows into the same thing with information. Uh, but yeah, take it away. Yeah, like Alyssa said, we don't have that much information on the natives. That's why um, 
from the second impact that we talk about what DeSoto actually had on um, for us is going to be this the Chronicles. So we talked a little bit about these in the beginning of our first Ask a Ranger for this question. And these were important is because DeSoto thought he was going to do great things here. He had already had a couple, maybe three or four expeditions that were successful. Um, he was the second born in his family. So what that meant back in the day, you didn't get anything, nothing. You were starting from scratch, basically. So what he wanted to do was make a name for himself. And what would not be better than to be the governor of Florida in the new world, La Florida. So he brought people with him on his expedition to write down everything that they did. And that's where these chronicles are going to come out of. Now, this is just one of them. There is another one that's this size. So you can imagine how much information is actually impacted in these. And from him coming over and writing everything down, that's why we know of some of the natives that actually lived here today because he talks about them in this book. So the people, the scribes that had written this down, wrote, wrote this down and then once DeSoto did pass away, they took these back to Europe and then everybody in Europe read them and were like, wow, we had no idea. And that's kind of all we have for you guys this week. So if you guys have any more questions that you want answered, just put them down in the comments below. We'll take them into consideration for our next videos. You guys have a great rest of your week and we'll see you later. Yeah, and until next time, stay curious and seek the unknown.